Hello, you guys. My video just cut out, but I'm going to do a part two. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to do a part two of the video I just did. <laughs> but what I was saying is that the enemy wants to get you tied up. He wants you to develop soul ties so he can tie the soul. That's what soul ties do. They tie the soul. Get you all twisted in your mind. Listen. And see, your mind consists of your mind, will, and emotion. God got better for you. I remember this lady told me a story. I'm going to make it real quick. Her uh, sister got, and she gave me permission to tell the story. Her sister got caught up with a married man. She had children by this married man. And he never left his wife. He never left his wife, okay? So she still was seeing him. And long story short, she began to be depressed. And see, it messed it up. It messed her up mentally. She began to drink and take pills. She gave up. She just couldn't take it no more. So one day she got sick and had to go to the hospital. And the long story short, it was over for her. But she didn't get this way until she started messing with a married man. That's why, you guys, it's wrong to mess with somebody else's husband or wife. They are married. It's wrong. You're crossing the line. And she opened up that door, but she couldn't get out. She couldn't get out. And the only way she figured to get out was to take her life. And, and she was an alcoholic and using pills and things like that. And it's a sad story, but I'm saying this, you guys. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. You shouldn't want something that somebody else has. Stay in your lane. All right? And she ended up leaving this world, and her sister had to raise her kids. It was such a sad story, and it happens a lot of time. Might not end up that way, but a lot of them probably do. Um... I, to be honest with you, I get mad when a married man tr try to talk to me. It makes me mad. <laughs> it makes me angry because they know that they have a wife and I, why, and I don't want nobody to play with me, play with my heart. Because you showing me how you treat your wife, you will probably treat me the same way, you know? And it really irks me because I'm like, get out my face you know i ain't up for that I ain't, you got the wrong one here because i'm looking for a commitment i'm looking for you know i want to be i ain't got time to be playing around right so i'm just saying that you guys it's a price to pay for sin okay and i just wanted to hit on that area and it don't have to be a married man it's people could just be in a relationship period you are in a relationship with people that are not serving God. They need deliverance. They're out there in the world. They done been around many, many blocks. And that's why a lot of people are so messed up. Women are crazy, want to bust out windows. And men are crazy, want to bust out car glasses and stuff like that. See, you done, you done slept with these people. And all those spirits is acting up. You're paranoid and all kind of stuff going on. See, that's what the... God want, God want us to remain kept until marriage. All right? See, it'll, it'll save you from all them heartbreaks. But see, like I said, you just got to ask God to help you and keep you. Because that's a price to pay you guys. We have to repent. And we learn our lessons. But I just wanted to drop some things out there. I don't know who this word is for, but I know it's for some people. Protect your spirit protect your mind protect your life you guys protect your sanity you got some of you got children you got children and you want children protect yourself you guys it's not worth it it is not worth it when you really understand what sleeping around do to you and the outcome you'll think twice you'll start thinking twice before you sleep around it's okay to not to sleep around you're not you're not weird or anything you just wise because you protecting your mental health your well-being 
your mental health is connected to your emotions as well your soul all that connected together can affect your mental health Woo! so we need to call on god you guys i wanted to just share some things for you guys to keep in mind but like i said earlier in the other video if you could see a lot of some of us have the gift some people have the gift where they can see in the realm of the spirit and these people you don't see you see them as tall dark and handsome or fine and thick like i said earlier but underneath that spirit if God allow you to see in the realm of the spirit the demon that you are dealing with and what you sleeping with, it's going to scare you like crazy. It's going to scare you like crazy. All right. So, you think you're sleeping with him or her, but you're sleeping with a demonic spirit. I'm just going to make it deep. I'm just going to say that. Okay. I'm not saying it's always the case. Because it ain't always the case with everybody. But they will manifest sometimes. I've had several people manifest around me. All right. And it's real, you guys. It's real. I just want to let you know to keep praying, keep fast, and stay close to God. He will keep you. That's all I have. I love you. Take care. And another thing too. A lot of people. Like uh, with, uh, married people. That are sleeping around. They, when they sleeping around. They come home and be with their spouse. They bringing them spirits to their spouse. Okay. They bringing them, they bringing them spirits to their spouse. The spirits comes in their homes. The spirit will attach itself to their children. If that's an open door. All right. They want to know why the children is acting out. They're acting out because some of the parents been out there popping around. And they come to the house. And the kids are innocent and vulnerable. And those spirits will attach itself to their children. If there's an open door. See, people are playing around. They don't know what they're doing. They, they're not aware. But see, God don't want you to be doing that when you're married. That's sinning. You commit adultery. Same thing with fornication. You bring that spirit to the house and your kids are in there. Little girls acting out. Two, three, uh, four, five years old. I got a boyfriend. Acting kind of, you know, certain kind of way that they shouldn't be acting. Because they've been exposed. Because things was going on in the home that shouldn't be going on in there father looking at something on tv you know what i'm saying i'm not calling it out that spirit from what he was doing was affecting the daughter so they had to go through prayer and deliverance to free the little girl see what i'm saying some of these parents are opening these doors to their home if i had to call the altar call right now i would call the parents to repent for what they have allowed to come in their homes to attach itself to their children. Because mm, mm, mm. the children have enough to fight for the fight against in the world. But see, I know you might have not known that, but now you know you need to guard your home. When you go out there doing things, people go out there doing things they shouldn't do. They think they done left it out outside the home, but they ain't left it outside the home, no. Because them spirits will follow you to your house, okay? And when they come in your house, they're searching in your house to find the weaker vessel, to find an open door to attack your innocent kids. Mm. Same thing when you got children, adult children in your home. Well, they ain't got to be adult, but you got children in your home that um, at a certain age, they're going out there doing things, doing things, you know, coming in late at night. The same thing can happen with the children. They can go out there and tap into stuff and bring spirits in the house as well mm -hmm. oh yeah so you got to pray over your home pray over your kids watch what you get involved with and who you get involved with all right 
But that's just a, a little bit, you guys. I didn't get on here to say all this, but God is bringing us out. God wants us to be mindful, and we need to repent. You know, we need to repent. We all have sinned and fall short of the glory. But when you know better, you need to do better. Amen. Take care, you guys. Love you much.